Nagbabalik po tayo sa loob ng Smart Araneta Coliseum to start our fourth quarter, which is being brought to you by Motolite for Express at its service call 3706686. Emmett's joined by Danny Ildefonso, Sean Anthony, Gary David, and Simon Atkins. Yan pong lima ng Meralco as they take on the five from Kia, spearheaded by... Uh, Hamedi Enjai, uh, Rich Alvarez, Hiram Bagaching, Carl De Hesa, and J.R. Buen Suceso. Aaron Ataide and Dominic Uy po yung kasama on the panel with Michelle Guevara running all around uh, the arena for all the reports from courtside. I like how Danny Ildefonso did not hesitate that time. Kanina, open siya for the jumper, decided uh, differently on it, tried to get Sean Anthony, wala. Uh, you know, at that time, he slid to the basket. And he was able to make that pick, got fouled, got the free throws. And this is the type of game, you know, because in the quarterfinals, Veralco, if they win, they will be facing rain or shine. They'll need some quality minutes from Daniel Carl Carl Dehesa. Finds a giant in the post against Il Defonso. And a foul called on Lakai. Uh, para kay Lakai. 65-61. Biggest lead of the game right now for the Morocco Bolts. Dehesa and a foul on the inside again. Lakai na naman. Back-to-back -back fouls for Il Defonso. So tough, tough matchup also for Danny Ai against Hamadi and Jai. Binalik na po ni Coach Norm Black, si Seya Ando para kay Simon Atkins. Pagkatsing yung itangan ng bola kontra kay Gary David. Buen suceso. Jab stepping, spinning, pagkatsing for three. Back iron. Still nothing even for Hiram Pagkatsing. David, out to Lakai. Sean Anthony, jumper. Got it, and it's now up to six. And we're going to check on how many assists Miralco has so far in this ball game. Because they've been moving that ball really well. In terms of assists, Miralco averaging 15 a ball game. Carl De Hesa. Foul called on the reach in. Well, Morocco already with 15 assists and nice. still, you know, close to 11 minutes of basketball time. Tejesa looking inside for Njai and Njai will throw that down. 20 points now for Amidi Njai. Foul on the grab, Danica J.R. Buen Suceso. Lakai to Seya Ando. Ando, Birigay K. Emmett against Rich Alvarez. Emmett fouled, and that will mean team foul number three on Kia. He has so far this fourth quarter, uh, ending up fouling Eto Meralco. Not a good sign for them because they need to be able to force some turnovers and stops without giving up the foul. Miss there for Anthony. Here comes Buen Suceso. Dehesa for three. Foul. And that will mean three. Nope, there's still confirmation. No, we'll be sideline inbound. 67-63 po ang ating talaan. Apat pa rin ang abante ng Meralco. Again, Kia needs to win by 17 if they want to advance into the quarterfinals. Or at least just close the door already. Pagkatsing. Pinigay kay Dehesa, long two is good. Carl Dehesa! And that is a big sigh of relief para kay Carl Dehesa. First two points First of the two afternoon. First two points, and he's hoping that will start things going for him and his team. 19 points pa naman yung average to Carl Dehesa the past three games. 
Emmett all the way, two points. The defense of Kia, not really where they want it to be. You know, they only usually give up 80 points, 83 points a ball game. So they're right within striking distance. But the thing don't play much, they're lang kinukulang din ng puntos. When Cesar can't get the three, but Enjai with the slam. Ando finds David driving, rejected by Enjai. How oh, high he got up there for that. Lock. Gingerly getting up though. Dehesa for three! And that three point shot is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL. Triple play plans. Balik Taraman and Lamang Sakia. David for three. Short. Pagaching almost. Giving up that turnover. Well, actually, he's not getting in. No, he's not Carl De Hesse. De Hesse for three again. Rebound this time for Enjai. De Hesse all going for the steal, ramming into Re to Reina Luminata. Then after the let Enjai throw it down, big fella. And then on the other end, goodbye. And then Carl De Hesse from deep, deep, deep. And this is what we were talking about. They need to be able to make big stops and then set it up on that fast break. Yeah. And we're hoping that Kia will win this ball game by less than 70. Yes, yes. of course, Coach Frankie Lim, we saw it on our screens a while ago. And uh, on a side note, wishing Ms. Miakalim a speedy recovery. I saw it in the hospital. So. Oh, not, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Dengue yes. for uh, Ms. Miakalim. So, so get well soon, Miaka. Prayers going out to Miaka. It's, uh, one point advantage for Gia, and they have possession as well. In the post, Amedi Enjai. Three pointer from Eli Revilla is no good. Rebound tapped around by Hodge, and he will finish and take back the lead. Now that's a timeout that you want if you're coach Norman Black. Your players were able to respond. Kasi ang lakas ng the thing, nung run nitong Kia Carnival, you're able to stop it with good defense and a fast break. Kawaling. Punta kay Hodge. Gonna get kay Enjai, but Enjai not able to grab it. And dyan mo na nakikita na medyo baka may konting pagod na rin. Unfamiliarity between JR Kawaling and Hamadi Enjai. Because hindi sila ganun kadalas magkasama maglaro. Hindi nga nakatingin si Amen. Oh, Oo, kasi kung si L.A. Revilla yun, titingin oh, si Hamadi oh. Enjai. Then alam niya hinahanap siya eh. Emin able to score, hooping the harm. Balik na naman sa tatlong abante na Meralco Bolts. 29 points now for Amen Enjai. Let's take a look now though at this uh, tatak. Holsim move of the game, and it is being brought to you by Holsim. Pinatag ka ng pag Holsim. 74-70. Apat na naman po ang abante ng Meralco. Enjay sa poste. Contra kay Hugnatan. Dehesa. Sumalaksak. Linabas. Revilla. Inside again. He missing everything. Good defense by the Morocco Bulls forcing that stop. Emmett out to Dillinger. Rebound goes to Enjai. I thought that was another assist, but it's by Andre Emmett leading the way in terms of pakinakilang siya mag score. Nandun siya kanina, pero pumapasa rin siya trying to get his teammates involved. Dehesa to Kawaling. Revilla inside, Enjai. Pinaliputan ng limang Meralco Bolts, but he is able to get uh, a foul and he will head to the free throw line for two charities. Third foul for Andre Emmett to go with his 30 points. He wanted to see about 25, 26 points galing kay Emmett Enjai. He's at 22 right now. So, not good, Jay. Oh. You know, not more or less, he's there in terms of the scoring, but he's needing really some help from his teammates. 
you know, they haven't really been able to shoot that three-point shot uh, or three-point ball well. 15% ang kanilang field goal shooting from that area. Eight of 13, make that nine of 14 now for Amedi and Jai. Remember, Kia still needs that 17 points to make an outright into the quarters, pero pag nanalo sila, they still need to wait for maybe a chance in the second game. Emmett, out to Dillinger. Hodge almost trying, trying to throw it down on Mark Yee. You just gotta admire it, si Cliff Hodge. Every time he goes up, who is Buhay? Going up so strong, wanting to dunk on Mark E. Throw it down, make a statement. Steady will have two free throws. Hodge, back irons on the first. Here comes the second now for Cliff Hodge. As he gets that one to go. He got five points. Apat pa rin pong abante ng Meralco. Under six minutes to go. Halfway through the fourth and final period. Revilla jumper. Wide right. Rebound again for Hodge. Si Emmett na magdadala ng bola. Jai nang sasalubong sa kanya. Emmett all the way. Andre Emmett. Mam, iba yung step niya in today's ball game. You know, because he's able to find those open lanes. Yung help ng depensa ng Kia Carnival. And not really where they want it to be. Because Emmett, like I mentioned, is a scorer. He will find lanes. But they need to funnel him. 77 71. Six point advantage. For Meralco, and at the uh, matchup natin ng imports, Andre Emmett has been phenomenal. Well, both these imports doing what they do best. You know, it's not a score, it's block. Hamadi Enjai always solid, always consistent. You know, you can't ask anything more from the Kia Carnival import. As the Hesse missing. Is this a, a case, Dom, of one side's locals performing and the other side's not performing as well as they were expected? Kapag pili naman naman itong Kia, talagang kinakailangan nila na big support from their locals or even their Asian import. But we can see Jet Chang, hindi na masyadong nabigyan ng minuto so far in this ballgame. Tapos inaasahan nila yung kanilang three-point shooting. Nadalhin sila, but you know, so far they haven't really been able to make those. The defense that they're good at in half court defense. Yes. You know, they're doing okay with that. You look at the, the points on the board for Meralco, hindi ka, hindi ka taasan. Pero, ang uh, nagkukulang uh, para dito sa carnival, yung trying to force some turnovers because you know, you know that Meralco takes care of the ball, but you try to take them out of their rhythm, haven't really been able to do that so far. Carl De Hesa to the free throw line. He gets the first one to go. And Meralco as a team. Not really the highest point scoring team either. And they're only averaging 91.7 points. So they're also very familiar in this territory. Let's head on over now to Ms. Guevara. Kia is still not losing hope as assistant coach Tito Victolero wants his players to keep playing defense and not let Meralco attack to the basket, Aaron. Thank you for that report. Uh, Sell it is still a four point lead. Emmett. Against Buen Suceso, leading on him. Hodge out, Atkins driving, stepping to the side, can't get it in. Rebound for Hodge. Hodge has that ball tapped out, so it will stay with uh, Miralco. That's the extra effort that Fifth Hodge brings to Miralco. You might extra possession again now when offensive rebound. And he came out of nowhere. Emmett in the post against Buen Suceso. Finds Ugnatan. Pump fake. And Jai with a block. Emmett still alive. Fouled. And that'll mean two free throws for the Texas Tornado. Emmett just knows how to play against a smaller defender. So with his back to the basket. Makita mo controlado, controlado niya. Not making or committing any offensive fouls. Kapag. Uh, Malaki naman, alam din niya na pwede niya saksakan kung mas mabilis siya 
just understands what it takes to get the ball inside the hoop. Yun din yung difference ng shooter tsaka scorer, no, Dom? Oo. Oh. Yung shooter, kailangan mo iset up. Yung scorer, hahanap ng paraan para pumutos. Four minutes remaining. Lima po ang abante ng Miralco Bolts. Revilla kontra kay Atkins. She's... Gives it to Carl De Hesa, gets it back. Finds in Jai Saposte. De Hesa for three. Got it! And that three-point shot is brought to you by PLDZ Home DSL Triple Play Plans. Carl De Hesa catching fire here in the fourth quarter. Sampung puntos sa kanya. Two three-point shots. 78-76. Emmett. Out to Hodge for three. Rebound for Njai. Coach Norman Black now standing up, knowing that uh, they need to close out this win and not play around anymore. Evilia. Jumper. That's good. And when we say play around, meaning they need to finish it off. Yun. Diba? Lamang na sila gusto tapusin na ng Miralco para wala ng gulo para sa kanila. Timeout on the floor called by... Coach Norman Black, we are all knotted up at 78 apiece. Kia fighting back. Tignan natin tong uh, last two plays. Carl De Hesa from Njai. Keep that hand up and make that three pointer. Then LA Revilla puso ng Kia able to get that jumper to go and tie this one up at 78 apiece. 78 apiece. 2.53 remaining in. Uh, in this uh, in this game, well, well, I'll say in the fourth quarter. Atkins contra Ay Revilla. Kasama niya, Emmett. Gary David who pulls up and misses. Rebound goes to Enjai. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Revilla driving. Scores! Kia now leaning on the heroics of Revilla and De Hesa, the two guys that inaasahan nila kanina pa sa puntos. Atkins. Ognatan, pump fake. Up and under move now to Emmett. Emmett step back jumper is in! Emmett consistently knocking down shots. You may see that he's not under pressure, he's not nawawala. He just knows what to do with that basketball. Revilla, may tangan ng bola. Pull up, back iron, rebound to Hugnatan. Up ahead to Gary, looking for a friend, and he finds Cliff Hodge. Boy, parin po ng atake ng mga Alcobolts. Emmett, oh, what a jab step. No foul called. Enjai with the board. And timeout called by Ali Revilla. Parang nabuhayan itong uh, Kia Carnival coming into uh, this last few minutes. They feel they have the momentum. They feel of uh, winning this ball game. Let's take a look now at this Motolite Express Hatid play of the game. And it's being brought to you by Motolite Express Hatid for Express Hatid service. Call 370-6686. One twenty-five to go. Kia will have possession, and the pressure is now being on. Well, you know, obviously, the seventeen-point win ng Kia Carnival, wala na yon. Oh, so they, they, they have a chance of winning this ball game, and if they just win, they will have to hope that Barangay Hinebra will lose yes. in the second game. Webb for three, got it. <laughs> Joshua Webb with some heroics here today. We were saying that he was practicing that three-point shot and it finally came through. Emmett into Ugnatan. Ugnatan can't find anyone, finds Emmett against Webb. Up and under, dishes it out to Ugnatan. Jumper, no good. Ando with a rebound. 
kicks it out, David for three. No, rebound for Enjai. What a big defensive stop by Kia Carnival. You know, they held their breath there. Because they got an offensive rebound from si Seiya Ando. You know, they're, they're opting to play small. And Meralco is doing a good job of moving that ball. Ang problema dito sa Kia, yung mga iba hindi nakaka box out para masigurado na yung possession. They're relying heavily on their import, Hamadi and Jai, to be able to clear the boards every single time. And Jai gets the first, and the lead is now up to four. Two possession ball game na po tayo, 10 of 15 from the free throw line. Missing on the second. Four point lead, 45 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Seya Ando. Emmett. Against Buen Suceso, spinning, driving, up and under is no good again. And Jai with another board. And Jai with Jump this 19th rebound wow. in the ball game. Mehdi and Jai with a huge rebound and a huge defensive stop right there. Emmett missing but able to force a jump ball. Big, big play right now. Emmett, the tip goes out and it will be white ball. 29.2 seconds left. Four point lead for Kia Carnival. Also needs to chalk up a good play, either a quick two or an open three. And for Kia, you know, nga, yung last scenario yun, and then they're gonna hope that Barangay Ginebra will lose in the second game. Ando against Enjai. Kicks it out with not a jumper. It's good! 23.8 seconds to go, and the lead is down to two. And looking on as it's a very, very important 24 seconds remaining in this game. Dehesa, Rivike Rivilla. Rivilla is fouled. Rivilla will head to the free throw line for two very, very pressure packed free throws. Four of four from the free throw line is Rivilla. Make that five of five. Eli Rivilla, 73.3% free throw shooter. Trying to make this another two possession ball game. Rivilla is perfect from the line. Eli Rivilla, always solid in Kia Carnival wins. We'll have Emmett, David, Atkins, Ando, and Pugnatan, the entire Colts team standing up. Ando to inbound. Finds Atkins. Emmett, pump fake for three. Short, rebound goes back to Emmett for three. No, rebound goes to David for three again and he's rejected, but there's a foul. So three free throws. Looks like it will be three free throws for Gary David. They're able to stop the 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 offense, but hindi nila makir yung defensive rebound, giving up three offensive uh, rebounds in that play. David, two of two from the free throw line this evening. He is an 87, uh, 85.7 percent free throw shooter. He has three this trip. El Granada, two for two. There's a steal para dito kay Gary David. Grabe. May isa pang timeout ang Kia Carnival. Meralco, wala na pong timeout. Well, we're gonna try to put in Jared Dillinger for defensive purposes. David for his third free throw. To cut it down to one. Pasok yung tatlo para kay Gary David and he is now 4-4 here today. 86-85.
Ito na yung defensive unit ng Meralco. The guys who can really deny the basketball. Fijesa joining Yi, Buenticeso, Revilla, and Enjai. Revilla will receive and he is fouled. But just that's how quick it is. Oh, wow. You know, even before he came into the PBA, you know, he was part of a program that was really competing in a lot of tight situations. So, alam mo yung kinakailangan mong gawin. Nakita mo, dinaan niya sa screen, binilisan niya para makuha niya yung bola. 87-85 now. 7 of 7 from the free throw line itong si L.A. Revilla. 5.4 seconds remaining in this, well, let's just say fourth quarter. 15, 5, and 5 para kay LA. Three point advantage now. Atkins, binigay kay David at the buzzer. Go, no, it's no good. 88, 85, and Kia will finish their eliminations with a win. 5 and 6 in the Kia Carnival. You know, they fought it out. They were gunning for 17 points. They did not get it. So may bearing yung ating uh, second game. And you know, it, it was tight. We, it seemed like itong uh, Kia Carnival in the first three quarters weren't really getting anything. But in the fourth quarter, nakakuha na sila ng mga three-point shots nila. Able to fight it out. And then in the end, winning by three points against the Miracle Bowl.